Hello everyone. Today we've gathered for you the 10 most anticipated movies of 2023. Before we get started, please like and subscribe so we know we're not doing this in vain. Enjoy watching. Once at a certain point in time, law enforcement officers are faced with a series of very strange and incredibly brutal murders, which in terms of the way they are committed are more like ritualistic ones. In addition, the killer acts as if the ghost disappears from the scene of the crime, without a trace. Since the maniac always goes unnoticed, after a while the investigation turns out to be a dead end. Then Detective Boyd, a professional in his field, takes over the investigation of the tangled case. One day, by chance, he has to cross paths with a professor from Meckles University who has been teaching for quite a long period of time. In addition, he studies the most ancient magical rituals and cults. They need to make a sacrifice to receive the energy of dark forces. Now the professor and the detective must delve into the ancient rites to understand the psychology of the criminal, learn the secret that resulted in a large number of victims. Miranda is a London florist who dreams of solving murder mysteries like the ones she reads about in Agatha Christie novels. Her wish begins to come true when Miranda receives an invitation to spend a weekend at the remote mansion of billionaire recluse Louis Findlay. When she arrives on the island, she meets the billionaire's staff and five guests who come from all over the world, including the perpetually drunken and cynical American journalist Don Walker. Soon, one of Findlay's guests is found brutally murdered, forcing the other visitors to worry about who the next victim will be. And now Miranda must use her own deductive skills to figure out who the killer is. The suspense thriller with horror elements. Scream 6 follows the Carpenter sisters who managed to survive a gruesome massacre in Woodsboro, where a series of gruesome murders began 20 years ago. Sam and Tara have moved to New York City to live with their twin friends Chad and Mindy. After the tragic events, the boys try to start a normal life but the ghosts of the past catch up with them again and in the new place. The masked maniac stalks Sam and Tara again, not forgetting Gail Weathers. Only Sidney Prescott has long ago taken refuge in a safe house and no one knows where to look for her. The maniac won't stop until he kills the Carpenter sisters, but who is hiding behind the mask this time if virtually all communications have been severed? After renting a cabin, a homosexual couple decided to spend a weekend away from the city's boring hustle and bustle. Taking their adopted child with them, Andrew and Eric came to explore the area in the middle of the woods. The curious little girl was tired of being held by her busy fathers, and she went off to explore her surroundings. Putting order in the dwelling, the men heard a loud knock on the door. The little traveler had brought with her a group of armed men, led by one Leonard. Taking advantage of his charisma, the stranger spoke of the end of the world. His adherents enthusiastically supported their commander, trying to convince him to sacrifice an innocent child to some dark forces in order to avoid the apocalypse. The frightened tenants can't get their heads together because it's about the safety of the dearest person to them. The little girl, however, took what she said to be an interesting game. Every minute spent in the cabin heats up the situation and it becomes clear that the sectarians are ready to use firearms at any moment. Waiting for help in the wilderness is useless. Delay is fraught with dire consequences. Police detective Danny Rourke undergoes therapy while trying to recover from the disappearance of his young daughter Minnie. He soon decides to return to work and begins investigating a series of bank robberies in which a thief empties only one safe deposit box. Rourke is the first to reach the next safe deposit box that is supposedly in the robber's sights and discovers a strange clue inside. A picture of his own daughter. Danny suggests that the picture of Minnie was left by a man named Del Rain, who seems to have amazing skills at manipulating people into doing things against their own will. To solve Del Rain's mystery and get on the trail of his own daughter, Rourke enlists the support of Diana a mysterious woman with psychic skills. New Year's Eve celebrations in Baltimore turned into a tragedy. A maniac has organized a massacre in the heart of the city. The FBI's Jeffrey Lamarque Ben Mendelssohn is assigned to investigate the crime, but all his efforts are in vain. 
he notices a talented but troubled police officer, Eleanor Shailene Woodley. The girl's insight and insightfulness could help solve the crime. Eleanor is involved in cooperation with the FBI, and now she is on the trail of a maniac who can start a new wave of horrific mass murders at any moment. Mrs. Reynolds holds seances. Usually, the events that occur during such evenings are completely consistent with a certain scenario. But what happened this time defies any explanation. The only person who can understand what really happened is Hercule Poirot. The Detective Ghosts in Venice is based on one of Agatha Christie's novels. This is the third film after the Orient Express and murder on the Nile in which Detective Hercule Poirot is played by Kenneth Branagh. The story takes place in England. But for the film adaptation, it was moved to Venice. The film is not strictly a detective story. Directed and starring Kenneth Branagh described his new project as a mystical thriller and some critics called it a horror film. The novel on which the film was based is one of the last written by Agatha Christie. According to the testimony of relatives, she recorded part of the text on a tape recorder, while an assistant retyped and helped her edit the text. In Luther, The Fallen Son, an epic continuation of the award-winning television saga reimagined for film, a gruesome serial killer is terrorizing London, while brilliant but disgraced detective John Luther sits behind bars. Haunted by his failure to capture the cyber psychopath who now taunts him, Luther decides to break out of prison to finish the job by any means necessary. The film also stars Cynthia Erivo, Annie Serkis and Dermot Crowley, who returns as Martin Schenk. Bok Soon leads a double life. She is both a mother of a teenage daughter and a legendary professional killer at the top, tier killing agency Mike. Caught between the mission of killing someone and the mission of raising someone, Boksun refuses to complete an assigned mission and is thrown into an inevitable fight 